Hey guys, welcome back to another Evan Moore walkthrough of another great book that the company sent me for my honest review as well as to share with my followers. So this school year, my son is going to be studying ancient civilization in his core curriculum or his spine curriculum or however you guys want to classify it. And so one of the books that we are taking a look at as being one of our ways to make science more exciting is we're looking at the history pockets by ancient Greece. So let me go ahead and jump right into this book. So there are nine pockets full of projects. So in this particular book, you will, your students can study the introduction of ancient, ancient Greece history, as well as military power, daily life, government, religion, mythology, work and school, art and architecture, language and literature, and sports and entertainment. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like I said, we have not dug into this book yet because right now I am just gathering things that we're going to be using for the upcoming school year. So if you're one of those homeschools like I am, I don't want to do the entire book in its entirety because I like to be able to loop back around to the next upcoming school year and have some more fun things for us to do to add to our previous year's history lessons. So you can actually split all these up. You can do it in threes, you can do it in um, in halves or however you wanna do it, but whatever works best for your family. And as I always tell you, when you watch any of my videos and I talk about history, you have to make sure that you check for historical, historical accuracy that fits for your family. So let's go ahead and jump right into this book. So as usual, Evan Moore always gives you a how to use section to tell you how to use the books. This book is no different. Now, we personally, we have a history notebook, so we will not be doing it as a pocket per se. We will be doing it as an inter interactive notebook for him for his curriculum. So in the Evermore book, it does tell you how to make the actual pocket. So it's completely up to you how you want to do this. Now, I will tell you that in every page, and you'll see as I walk you through this book, they are double-sided, so they are perforated. So if you do need to, you actually will have to tear these sheets out and make copies of the opposite side because you will not be able to have like two sides in there because one side will have information, the other side won't. So you will have to make copies. But if you have a teacher file box, you can go in and you can download these. I do have a teacher file box, so I will probably be utilizing that, just downloading the opposite sheet. So that's another plus about having a teacher file box. So let's go ahead and break this pocket down. In every pocket, there is an overview page, pretty much your table of contents. There is a fast fact bookmark and book label for your student. There is also an about page, a reference page, as well as your activities that are inside of the book. I love the fact that most all of the pages in here are black and white, so your student can color them and be as creative, creative as they like to be in their particular pocket. So here, right here, you've got your introduction page, which basically tells you, you know, everything that is lined out in here. And then here is your bookmark right here. And now you can see what I was talking about as far as you need to make a copy of one page and copy the other page. And that's why that teacher file box is very, very handy so you don't have to go through all those stages. So there's also a map in here. I really do like the fact that they include a map because having the map will be a really great teaching tool, especially if you're using a spine curriculum like I am. So they'll already have a spine curriculum, spine. They will already have a map inside of their interactive notebook. I love the fact that they include timelines in here because one of the things that I think kids need to know, they need to be aware of time and how things happen in history. Now we are a gentle truth household and we, we tend to, well, I'm not gonna say we tend to, we do, we do teach true history in our home so i will be checking for historical accuracy throughout this entire book as we work through it my son is very well aware of the fact that, that a lot of culture and greek history has been taken from egyptian history so he knows that he needs to make sure he looks for those historical accuracies and compare them so let's continue to go ahead and look and flip through this book and as you can see this is full of all kinds of activities all kinds of things for you to kind of work with your students on and just really enjoy going through 
history, making history fun, making history come alive. No matter how you do this book, there's always something interesting for your kids to do. They will not get bored. And it's and for your older kiddos, this is something that they can do independently. You can just lay it out. They can read the instructions and they can take complete ownership over doing this lesson for them. And I find that most kids who are older, who are able to do things on their own and make it their make it their own, they tend to enjoy and retain the information more so. So as you can see, like I said, all those high points of all those different topics are covered in this book. So you don't have to um, do a lot of digging, but again, checking for historical accuracy is highly recommended. So in this series, there are several of these books. There's an ancient civilization. There is a life employment colonies. There's Native Americans. There's the American Civil War, as well as the American Revolution, ancient Rome, ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, colonial America, explorers of North America and moving west. There is also an Africa book. I have seen that book myself. So there is one of those. Um... I don't know if it's quite interactive, but I do know there is a History Africa book, and that is one we, we will be looking at ourselves. These books are engaging, they are easy to use, and they're very much comprehensive. So, if you are like me and you are looking for something to bring history alive and you want more interactability with your lessons with your student or even independent in research work, I highly recommend taking a look at these history pockets. This particular one is Ancient Greece, and this is for grades four through six. You can kind of you can modify it for a little bit younger grades, but I would highly recommend that you stick between that grade three through six as your as your grade levels if you're going to modify for a third grader. So until the next video, I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you have any questions, you know what to do. You can send, send me a direct message or you can comment under this video. Until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.